Hello everyone, welcome to Total War Warhammer 2, where I'll be playing as Malekith of the Dark Elves on a very hard difficulty. Throughout the campaign, I'll be sharing bits of information and lore about the faction, that way if you don't know much about them, you're going to learn about who they are and where they came from. Let's go look at race attributes. Black Arcs, powerful naval units that can replenish forces, recruit new units and forces, and bombard battles within range. Slaves, provide a bonus to provincial economies at the cost of reduced public order. Murderous Prowess, Dark Elves receive the favor of Cain in the form of increased combat performance should they kill enough enemies in battle. Then over here, we have Faction Effects. Malekith gives a percentage of XP earned to other lords. Diplomatic Relations, plus 30 with Cold of Pleasure. Increased chance of loyalty loss for lords of a higher rank than Malekith. We get plus 2 loyalty for new recruits, and then down here for a specific lord effects. Upkeep goes down by 50% for our Black Guard of Nagarond, our Dread Spears, Bleak Swords, and Dark Sharded units. And we begin with a Black Guard of Nagarond, and over here a Repeater Bolt Thrower. Let's get into it, I won't be chatting through the cinematic. Enjoy. The world has seen countless murders, but one killing stands above all others. One death that has shaped the world. Malekith, son of Enerion, was betrayed. The elven princes crowned Belshanar as the second Phoenix King. Sir Malekith brooded and poured his hate into a single cup. Malekith toasted Belshanar, then stepped over his dying body and into the sacred flame of kings. But the fire stripped his flesh, and with a final scream, he hurled himself back from whence he came. His body was taken north, and a suit of armor forged Malekith was reborn. The Witch King. And in his shadow, legions raised. Decades of civil war followed. Then Malekith embarked on the most ruthless of plans. His sorcerers would unbind the magic of the Great Vortex. Created by Kalador Dragon Tamer and his elven mages, the Vortex siphons the winds of magic, keeping the demon tide at bay. Malekith's spell was flung at the Vortex, but Kalador himself broke through the mists of time to deflect the titanic force back at its casters. The Shadowlands were ravaged, sundered, Consumes the heart of Ulfwan. My son will take its power and our vengeance. Find the Oracle. She knows what to do. I am willing to serve to earn my soul's release. The fulfillment of a dark prophecy beckons my subjects. 
Yeah. Have felt the unraveling of the great vortex by the twin-tailed comet. Yet, we are not alone in seeking to yoke its power. The Undervermin march against us in number, driven to suicide against my wrath in service of some mad scheme. The Skaven run rampant across the wastes of Nagaroth in my absence, plundering its arcane resources. My return shall ensure their agonizing deaths, yet the Vortex remains the greater prize. It shall be mine. Here we go now. I'll talk about lore whenever we're in a battle, but for now we need to focus on the campaign map and trying to defeat that Skaven army right by us. Which shouldn't be too difficult, I'm sure. Here we go. Mission 1. By your design, ensure that one of the following buildings have been constructed. A Dark Elf Hold, which is over in Nagaron. Sire, the race to dominate the Vortex will be a long one. While I seek to fill the goblet with a life force, I beseech you prepare the infrastructure of the kingdom to make this endeavor more efficient. It is time to upgrade, and we'll gain 500 gold. Here's another mission. Capture and occupy something belonging to the following faction, Clan Septic. You are right, sire. Act quickly and flush the infestation from the ruins. Do not let the ratmen take what they seek. Capture their filthy nests. Skaven inhabit their underworld, making their settlements indistinguishable from ruins until approached. We'll gain 1,000 gold and 8 scrolls of Hikarti, which is for our ritual right up here. Okay, so over here in Nagarond, our capital, we're going to upgrade our Dark Elf settlement into a Dark Elf hold. Done. For technology, we can get driven by vengeance. Battle as business, or over here, founded on tyranny. I think because early on I'm going to be recruiting a lot more dread spears and dark shards and even bleak swords, I'm going to want driven by vengeance. The deep seated, profoundly ingrained desire for revenge consumes and drives one forward. That will take me four turns. And now we can get Malekith. We have two dread spears, two dark shards, and one repeater bolt thrower. And over here, one black guard of Nagarod. We're outnumbered. But I believe we can win our battle if we play it smart. We use a lot of micromanagement. So, Vermich, you have two Storm Vermin, various Clan Rats, and even two Night Runners, which might be a bit difficult to beat down on. But let's try it. So, the Elves are once a single race that all lived on a beautiful island named Othuan. That would all end when you would have what was called the Stargates of the Old Ones collapse, and when that happened, the winds of magic would flow heavily through the world, breaking the walls of reality and allowing demons to manifest in the world. At that time, the elves did not know what to do until they had one elf rise up and defend them and lead them, and that would be Anarion, the father of Malekith. Dread Spears, you're coming over here. Dark Shards, you're going to be on the front lines. Actually, hold on. We're going to move our spears to our left and right flanks. There we are. We have one army ability over here, Lure of the Pell Queen. Malekith will be in the middle to defend. Our repeater bolt thrower will be right over here. We're going to use in the very beginning our multi-shot round, which is for anti-infantry purposes. And then we have our Black Guard of Nagarond, who will just be back here. And now we're ready to go. We'll gamble for more magic. There we go. 21 is much better. I do not want you to skirmish, go into guard mode, they're heading towards me so I don't need to worry about that. We have two spells right now, Power of Darkness to get even more Winds of Magic under our pool, and over here, Chill Wind. And there we go, here they come. They have Skaven Slaves on the front lines, and here are the Storm Vermin, which I've got to kill quickly if I want to easily beat them. Let's try that out right now. Over here, again, we have Malekith, the Witch King, Dread Spears which are going to be over here on our flanks. Dark Shards in the middle. And our Black Guard of Nagarond, who we'll see in combat. They have anti-large abilities, but we're not fighting any large creatures right now. Maybe later. Okay, here they come. How many kills do you have right now? Only two. It'll take time to beat them down, but we got it. We'll get it. Okay, we're going to let my Dark Shards now go after their Slingers immediately. If they want to hit Malekith, they can. I won't be mad about that. Let's use our Chill Wind. It's really meant to break through their formations, but I'm going to use it to do some damage to them. Just to weaken them. Now they're moving back. Great. Okay, let's go after their Night Runners. I've got to kill them quickly, too. If I don't do that, they're going to be a huge pain for me. Dread Spears will now move up. The Black Guards will now move up. Let's charge back into combat. We're going to focus on them. 
We could use our Lord of the Pale Queen to stop them in their tracks right now, but they're going after Malekith, which is okay. These Night Riders are doing a lot of damage to my Dread Spears. I've got to get rid of them now. Let's go. Okay, Black Guard of Daggeron, come on in. We're going to make all of you stay still for right now. I don't want anyone moving. We're going to use our Repeater Bolt Thrower to really kill a lot of them. They're all grouped together. We're going to use our Chill Wind again to do even more damage. Here we go. Now they're taking so much damage. Dark Shards are still going after the runners over here. We might as well charge in or they're just going to keep on attacking us. Let's charge in and help out our Witch King. So Anarian would go to what is called the Sacred Fire of Asaurian. Asaurian is a chief of all of the elven gods and he would throw himself into the flames hoping to sacrifice himself for the help of the god. Instead of being killed, he would endure the pain and be purified and he would rise out as a phoenix king, which is what he would be known as. Let's come over here now. He would use his dragon in Drognir and just begin to go all around, beginning to fight all of the demons on the island. And he would also meet a guy or an elf called Kaldor Dragon Tamer, who was a great mage and they would become close friends too. Before we go on, let's just keep on attacking them. Dark Shards, come over here immediately. We need to go after these Night Runners. They're getting way too many kills. I'm gonna have my Bolt Runner go after them, which has 110 kills, which is not bad, but we still need to kill more. My Dark Spears over here look like they're winning, at least a little bit. Let's keep on pushing in. I'm gonna let Malekith go after their leader. Right now, Dread Spears will keep on pushing, trying to make them break. Look at them, they're beginning to really take some big hits now. Yeah, they're definitely a high threat. We could even pull back if we wanted to. Dread Spears wait over here. Okay. The Black Guard of Nagaron, I could have you flank our enemies right now. We'll keep on attacking all of their skirmishers immediately. That won't be that hard. We're going to use another Lord of the Pale Queen in just a moment. Another Chill Wind to break them up. And here we go. Now they can't move. And now we can hit them even more. Let's do it. All right, we'll go kill more clan rats. I feel like Malekith can win. He shouldn't need much help to fight that Skaven, that warlord. The Night Runners are beginning to lose now, good. We still have more to fight. We have issued our murderous prowess now. If you look at that, we're doing a lot more damage. 15 more leadership, plus 25% to melee attack, plus 25% to charge bonus, 20% to armor piercing missile damage, and 30% to vigor, which means we're less likely to tire out in battle. Okay, here's another chill wind. Let's do it. Okay, keep on focusing on them right now. You got it. Let's go flank them. I have more Dread Spears over here. I'll bring in my Black Guard too. More skirmishes will come our way, but that is okay. Actually, here. We'll hit them as well. Even though we're outnumbered, we have the quality of arms to beat them in combat. And there we go, we've won. Okay. I don't want too much friendly fire, so watch out for that. We'll try to kill a few more. If we do that, then we can auto-resolve our battle when we're done here and easily kill them all. Malekith got over 100 kills. Not bad at all, either. There's another beautiful chill wind right through them. And so we won. Now, here's a pretty important part. Kalidor came up with a big plan to get rid of the demons. He wanted to drain the winds of magic from the world with what would essentially be a giant bathtub drain, but for magic. And that would be called the Great Vortex. And what would happen here is that Anarian would find out that his wife, the Everqueen called Asteriel, was killed and his children were missing. He would fly into a rage and go to the Blighted Isle to draw a sword of Cain, the Cain being the bloody god of murder for the elves. Now this blade was called the Widowmaker. When he would draw that blade, it would taint his bloodline, which would definitely impact his children, or his one child, Malekith. Okay, let's end our fight. We'll talk more about what would happen after that. So we lost only 87. They lost 1,054. So we definitely had a huge win. Those Night Runners killed 22. They killed the most. Our Bolt Runner 252. Our Dark Shards 195 and 183. We can either ransom our captives. We could murder them for more experience. Or we could enslave them for more slaves and unit replenishment. Which is what we'll do. Now they're pulling back near Har Cauldra. Okay, at level 2, I'm going to upgrade your Chill Wind, as I want to pick up Blade Wind, and later over here, what else would I want? Maybe just Blade Wind for right now. Yeah, 
That is a very powerful Vortex spell that I want to use. I could pick up Spiteful Conjuration. That wouldn't hurt either. All right, here we go now. Let's go finish off our enemies. We didn't lose a lot, so we can easily auto-resolve that battle. We're going to gain more slaves and replenish again. Vermich is now dead, so now we can go to Har Kaldra for another battle. There they are. They're not plentiful enough to beat me. We could occupy, loot and occupy, sack or raise. I would like to gain replenishment, though they will be unhappy, will cause a rebellion to happen no matter what, so I'm going to help that along. I don't mind rebellions too much if I cause them myself. If I do that, well, I can kill everyone who isn't fond of me. We have a new mission now. Maintain control of one province either by direct ownership or through vassals and military allies. A wise move, sire. Do not let the vermin get any tailhold of sovereign Druki lands. Continue the purge to secure the whole region. We'll gain 2,000 gold and seven scrolls of Hikarti. Now we're level four. We're nearly level five already. Let's upgrade Blade Wind. I could pick up my Power of Darkness upgrade, which wouldn't hurt. Word of Pain is a really good debuff. I mean, look at that. For 40 seconds, too, that could really nullify an enemy. Wow. I'm going to pick that up. If we fight any major evil creature, I want to be able to debuff them. So now we can recruit. We're going to take up two more Dread Spears and one more Dark Shard. Actually, you know what? Two more Dark Shards. That's what we'll do. Over here, we have a artisan's house, which we will repair. Then we're going to repair over here our settlement. And now we can end our turn if we want to. We could look at diplomacy, but I doubt anyone would like to treaty with me. We do have a treaty over here with Har Ganeth, which is over to the east. And they like me. I could give them a gift to have them like me more. I would like for them to eventually join my confederation. We'll give them a small gift right now. And they're fighting two factions. Grand and... Clark Karand. Okay, so Clark Karand, you're over here to the south. Grand, where are you at? Over here to the north. We'll find them later. Okay, so now we can end our turn. Here we go. I'm going to cause a rebellion and then go after the Ratmen again. I'll have to recruit a lot more. Early on, we're going to have a lot of Dark Shards and Dread Spears. We won't be able to change it up too much until later on. Here we go. We've encountered two Beastmen War Tribes, it looks like. The Ripperhorn Tribe and Shadow Gorge Warherd. They're not really close to me, so I don't need to worry about them. Hopefully, they'll only go after other factions. I could go to Kara now. Yeah, I should be able to do that without any issues. So let's come over here and recruit even more, as I need to finish off the Skaven later after we get rid of our little rebellion. Any unit that I custom name will be in part two, just to let you know. Okay. Fortunately, they're all very cheap for me, so we can even recruit a lot more. If I want to later get another army, I probably could do that, though it wouldn't be able to have a full stack. Now we're waiting for another turn. So far, so good. We're doing pretty well. Let's go to Kelra. Here's another little battle. Yeah, you're way too tiny. I don't need to fight that battle out. We were outnumbered and still won, so I'm not worried about them. We're going to loot and occupy again. Look at that. They lost another settlement. That was rather quick, too. We're beginning to purge them quickly. By your command, issue a commandment across one province. The entire province is subjugated, sire. Your words are absolute. Issue a commandment. Your subjects will be desperate to obey. And we gained a scroll of power, which will... Apparently, reduce my ability recharge rate. Great. Another dead enemy. A new right unlocked. The victims of Cain cannot go meekly to his halls. It must be bloody-handed murder. But once the blood is flowing, from whence will it stop? We'll look at that in just a moment. Now, I would like to get rid of my conscription halls over in my capital, but that will have to wait. I need to upgrade it quickly. I don't know when I'll be able to upgrade over here my Black Spire. Well, I do know. It'll take two more turns for me to upgrade it. And I don't want to wait that long. I want some variety in my army. So we'll change it later on. Okay. Level 5. What am I going to give you right now? I could give you Route Marcher. 10% to campaign movement range is rather powerful. Inspiring Presence would be great too. We do have a very powerful army. Here's a Sea Dragon Cloak. 
I could upgrade his capabilities in battle. Gaze of Malice is rather powerful too. It's a breath ability. I might pick that up. Oh, over here is sadistic. There is great pleasure to be derived from the humiliation and suffering of others. This one has felt and reveled in it. It'll give me 12 more armor piercing damage, five more to my charge bonus, and plus three to my melee attack. Not bad, I'll take it. We're gonna make him a little bit tougher in melee combat. Okay, we can't leave just yet. We're about to have a new rebellion. Actually, you know what? Here, let's get rid of it. Long term, it'll work out even better for me, even though we won't have that unit variety just yet. We do need our new commandment. We have Raid Dark Portents. That's very good if we're having to deal with a lot of enemy heroes. Increase slave production quota. We'll get more income from our slaves, and we have 852, which is quite a bit. Sacrifices for Cain, which is quite good for unit recruitment. Then enforce tribute payments or demand highborn hostages. Okay, I think for right now, what we'll do, we will begin to sacrifice our cane. We have a lot of unhappiness here, and we need to recruit units who are quite skilled in battle. We do have our sacrifice to cane, which is, again, very good. I'm going to wait before we fight a big battle before I do that. I don't want to do it just yet, not until later on. There's our little rebellion. What are you doing? Yeah, you don't want to come after me. That's a really bad idea. I'm your Witch King. We're going to unite all of Nagaroth and then go after whatever else we need to. A new mission. Destroy the fallen factions. Clan Septic. Come now, sire. Surely your patience for these vermin is at an end. Wipe them out. Oh, I will. It'll take a little bit, but I will. Let's come on down. We'll fight them in one more turn. Now, over in Nagarond, what do I truly want? All of these can go up to tier 3. I could for now get Dark Riders or even Den of Outlaws. Shades are very powerful. That is true. Let's go look over here. That would increase my income from slaves and quickly. There's a few things that I can build. Oh, hold on. A Sawyer. If I get that, I'll get more income and it'll reduce the cost for me to build anything by 20%. Oh, I like that a lot. That'll make everything quite cheap. Torture post, I don't want public order right now. I'm not worried about it. Dark Elf Man is for more growth. Long term, that can be quite good if we upgrade quickly. And I do want my shade, so we'll get our Den of Outlaws here for right now. We do have the gold for it. Okay. Let's end our turn again. I'll have to spend like maybe one or two more turns. Probably trying to begin recruiting more soldiers for my army. If we fight a wall sediment, my little army will not be enough. I mean, it could be, but we would lose a lot for sure. We have a new mission. Momentum gathers. Tricky flock to your banners. Betrayal is inevitable if you do not rule with a strong hand. For now, take advantage of your growing following and expand your settlements. Yeah. Here we go. A new mission here. It's shared that one of the following buildings have been constructed. Altar of Cain or a sorceress's abode. There are agents and factors that wish to petition your favor. Ensure they have a place to assemble so we can weed out potential vassals and traitors. And then over here, seek the ruins. Search any ruined settlement for treasure. The ritual will soon be ready, but I need more scrolls to power it. We may find what we seek in the ruins scattered throughout your kingdom, Majesty. If I may suggest, send some expendable wretches to search them. Huh, that is true. I could do that. I have a little army just for that role. We completed our technology so we can recruit more and save a lot of money. Let's go over here into battle right now. That is a very tiny army, but they have very elite units too, like Black Ark Corsairs. Wow. Where did you come from? Why don't you fight for me? Okay, we shall enslave them again. I'm going to keep on gathering more slaves. I mean, that will improve my income heavily. Now, over in Kelra, we're going to upgrade it from a Black Spire into a Dark Hold. I would like to upgrade my Conscription Halls over into a Halls of Mustering. And then over here, I want... Dark Elf Residences, if we do that, we'll get even more growth and more replenishment. And here you go again, you leveled up. Eternal Hatred, if I do that, we're not fighting the High Elves yet, so that can wait. It's got a lot of unique abilities. So we're going to pick up right now. Evasion would be fun, but I do have my Blade Wind, Spiteful Conjuration. It's a constant around self. Effects, okay, so armor will go down by 15. That is rather powerful, I'm going to take that. Let's go finish off our enemies right now, and then recruit more units to fight for me. Goodbye.
Valen Duel? You fought the wrong Witch King. Let's come back to Nagaron. Okay, so let's go recruit a few more Dread Spears. Again, I want to change it up, but I'll have to wait for maybe one more turn. Yeah, one more turn, and then I'll be able to recruit a few Shades to fight for me. That would give my Dread Spears, Bleak Swords, Dark Shards, Black Art Corsairs, and Dark Riders more leadership. Over here is more unit experience, marching to war for more speed. For now, we're going to pick up battle as business. If we do that, we'll gain more money from every battle, which means I can spend more money, which is what I want to do. Okay, if we look over here, we have a massive enemy location. Oh yeah, I know they're over here. There's no way they're not. I mean, they're either in Shroktak Mount or the Altar. Actually, they could be in every location over there. Let's go look at diplomacy real quick. Does anyone like me? You're not a huge fan of me. Okay, Hagraif. Again, if you join me, that would be great. Okay, you won't do that. What about you? Please share your inanities with me. I'm gonna give you one more gift. As you say. There we are. Let's go look at our slave trade. Yeah, we have a lot here. I could request more, receive more, or no more slaves, but I think we're good right now. We are declining at 2% per turn. Public order has a few issues, but I'm not worried about it. We do need Grand for our ritual. Okay, again, we're going to wait for a big battle before we use that right. I don't want to do it just yet. That's got to wait. I wonder if the Skaven will pop out before I actually get to them. I don't know. They might. I could use a new hero, too. A new quest issued. Capture 500 battle captives. The Great Vortex falters. It is vulnerable, and the Witch King seeks to take advantage. To enter and channel its energies to wrest the power of chaos from the gods themselves. Before Malekith can do this, he must imbue the circlet of iron, an ancient band older than the elves, with an unholy crux. While Malekith knows that a crux is needed before he can enter the vortex, frustratingly, he lacks knowledge of this arcane boon's location. He must consult an oracle kept by the sorceresses, and their services do not come cheap, even if you are the Witch King. Over in Nagarond, we're going to upgrade our Sawyer over into a marble quarry. It'll make my buildings cheaper by a full quarter. Which again will allow me to save more money. Let's come over here. You know what? I could try to speed up just a little bit. I wouldn't mind doing that. Okay. Now we can pick up Shades who have armor piercing missiles. 29 missile damage. Wow. I'm going to take three of them. Whoa, they're not cheap. I'll take two of them actually. I've changed my mind. <laughs> okay, control A, control M to combine who we have. There we go. Yeah, we don't have a nice effect to decrease their overall cost, and they're not cheap at all. When you give me a few more turns, we'll be able to fully develop our province and have a lot of powerful buildings to give us more wealth and more powerful units too. A new mission. At the start of your turn, have at least 350 scrolls of Vicardi. My preparations are almost complete, but it's now clear that other races intend to usurp the Vortex. We must be first. Get me more scrolls so I can enact the ritual. A chair at the table. Sign a non-aggression pact to the following faction, Haig Graef. I shall not tutor you, sire, on how to run your kingdom. You've been ruling for longer than I have existed. Yet, I will venture that Haig Graef could be a stronger ally than outright enemy at this stage. Perhaps offer their lord or lords a chair closer to yours at the obsidian table. A non-aggression pact is a good start. We could try it. Fear we could definitely my, try please it. Please share your inanities with me. I'm listening. Yeah, you're my good friend. I was hoping that maybe you would want to be more than just friends, but Dreadlord, apparently not. Are crucial, don't you think? Foolish okay, you won't do it, but if I give you maybe 1,000 gold, you might change your tune just a little bit. Let's try 1,000 gold to begin with. Denied. Okay, they won't do it. Never mind. Here's a little I gift. They might change their mind in the future. There we go. They are beginning to like me just a little bit. I am much stronger than them, so I could just kill them if I wanted to. Okay, another Black Spire into a Dark Hold. Done. We are really doing it. Okay, I could recruit two more. Again, they are very cheap for me. More Dark Shards. Why not? 
And then over here, we're going to perform our ride for even more re replenishment. There we go. Okay. Now that we've done that, we'll take one more turn before we go into battle. I'm sure we're going into battle. There's no way we're not. Let's end our turn. We're going to get the Altar of Ultimate Darkness. I mean, that's a pretty bold claim, Cotton. I don't know if that's true or not. There's one enemy. Maybe there's a lot more. Maybe they're all hiding there waiting for me, waiting to eat my food or scurry around and be creepy. They're very good at that. Okay, here's my big army. Let's go. Look at that army. Okay, let's fight it out. Here we go then. We can gamble for more magic in the very beginning. We lost a point of magic. All right, I'll take it. There's a gray seer over there. They have a large army over to our left. We could avoid them for now and fight them later, or we could fight them immediately. You know what? We're gonna be daring about it. We're gonna have four. We're gonna stand on the front lines like that. All of my dark shards will easily destroy them, I think. We'll go over here. And we have a repeater bolt thrower, which we could put. Could we put it up here? We can't. Okay. We want to use our multi-shot rounds. But where can we put it? No, I don't want any friendly fire. We've got to watch out for that. But maybe it'll be okay. All right. My shades will be over here on the left flank. They're going to go hunt down that gray seer and kill him. I think that would be a suitable job for them. We'll go look at them in just a moment. Malekith will be on the front lines, and now we need to look at the remainder of my army. We're going to have our black guard over on the left flank if we can. Actually, do we have room? We do. You know what? We're not going to bring them there. We're going to have the remnants all over here waiting to actually flank our foes in battle. Having them drawn out like that will allow them to move easily and quickly. I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. No one go to skirmish mode. And let's have these shades go after that grace here immediately. Here it goes right now. They're going to use spells, and that's okay. I'd rather them go after one unit than all of my units together. If we go look at my shades right now, they have armor piercing, and they're very powerful. Not to mention, they have really cool hair. Look at that. They're quickly taking out that grace here, who's very low armor. They're going to assassinate their leader. And over here, we're now fighting a lot of... And I mean a lot of Skaven. We could use a Blade Storm right now. We're going to wait for them to actually crash on our front lines. Look at all my Dark Shards attacking. And that is how they're going to win. Let them all crash on our front lines right now. Okay. We're going to have two of you move over here. Three of you move further out. My Black Guard will also move out right now. I don't like that friendly fire. Let's watch out. I don't want you to attack anymore. I'm a little bit too worried about that friendly fire. So we can use our Dark Conduit in just a moment. Before that, let's use our Blade Wind to kill everything. If I can put it a little bit closer. Here we go. That should do it. We're going to use all of our magic for that roll. Let's do it right now. That's going to kill a lot of Skaven. I'm hoping it'll draw back a little bit more to kill more of them, but I think that will do for right now. So we're going to let our Dark Shards just attack whatever they want. We can begin to flank more of the Skaven and completely contain them, too. So, let's go watch our Dark Conduit ability, which we can use on Malekith right now. That will quickly and easily knock back dozens of Skaven. They did not like that. And look at them break already. They're all dying. So, we've kind of spoke about how there is a peace on Ulthuan for a period of time. You would have a Narian who would defeat the demons and drive them from Ulthuan. And he would go on to bring his followers over to a land that would later be called Nagareth, and that would be his own personal kingdom. And it was a very grim and bleak land, much like the people who lived there. They loved to the fight, and they were all about war. They were very Spartan-like. Over time, they would really begin to indulge in a lot of pleasures. They didn't know when they would all die. They didn't know when the next invasion would come, and so... They began to get a little bit too decadent. They got involved in blood sports, great hunt, and other pleasures too. To where other elven people were done with it. Like Kaldor Dragon Tamer, who would go down south to found his own kingdom of Kalidor. Now, before Anarian could really be mad about that, there is another great invasion. And we'll talk more about that later on. 229 kills for our Witch King. We got so many kills in a short amount of time. 
Despite being, again, outnumbered, we quickly broke them. That is what I wanted to show you, the sheer might of the Dark Elves, and now we're going to enslave even more. I love doing that. I can use it for my rights, I can get rid of them if I want to, or just make more money. The Exterminator. Skaven, our disease, a cancer on this world. You are a plague, and we are the cure. We get five more leadership when we fight to Skaven. And we leveled up again. Okay, so what are we going to give you, Malekith? We're going to give you a point over here into Sea Dragon Cloak. I like the idea about you getting more leadership for all of your soldiers. I mean, that's really good, too. We're even getting Power of Darkness improved in battle. If we keep using magic in battle, we could do so much more damage, so I guess we will do that instead. Okay, we could auto-resolve. They are weakened. We're going to loot and occupy. We'll gain over 1,000 slaves, and that is a lot. We'll have another rebellion here later, but we'll take care of it. Another enemy killed in battle. We've completed our quest, too. North answers the hags, trying the Witch King's patience. For the northern borders of Nagaroth are vast. He demands a more specific location with a threat that Grand will burn if a satisfactory answer is not given. The death hags look unmoved. They know that Grand is Marathi's city and that her son will not risk her wrath. Perhaps they do not know the Witch King. 1,500 gold and 10 more scrolls if we actually occupy loot, raise, or sack another location. Which we will do momentarily. Let's go over here now. Now we can have Malekith ride on a cold one. You know what? I think we should do that. Yeah. There we are. Dark feral beasts indigenous to Nagaroth tempted from their damp warm caves to bear the Druki to battle. And now we can begin to heal up. Karakas is nearly dead. He's just trying to stagger away. He barely made it away from my shades. We have a lot of slaves now over in Nagaroth. Over here in Kalra, we're going to upgrade that into a Halls of Mustering. And then what do we want? We could have a Watchtower. I don't want that. We do need to make these people happy for once. We're going to have to. I won't be able to come back there quickly. I might even have to rally up a new army to go fight them. I don't have the money for that. Well, I have the money to create it, but to sustain it is a different story. Okay. Now that we're done... We can repair our current buildings right now. I don't need to recruit more, not where I'm at. Next, we'll go to Shroktak Mount. Let's end our turn. We're pushing back to Skaven, but I know that there are more of them. Hopefully, no other faction will try to attack me. They could, though. My borders are weaker. I'll have to use a bit of diplomacy to have them leave me alone. Wait, is he really coming to fight me again? He's mad. That one little Skaven has lost his little mind. Well, you did keep me from replenishing fully. Battle as business all completed. We now have a new ride. Sacrifice to Atharti. Their sacrifice to the Lady of Desire go willingly to their death. Such appeasement enthralls the masses. Very good. And now we have destroyed that entire clan. Even better. Weapon gained. Death Piercer, bonus versus infantry plus 8, charge bonus plus 10. A terrible weapon, a lance tipped with a blade carved from cold one teeth. That leaves a ragged wound, or that leaves ragged wounds ensuring victims bleed painfully to death. There we go. Strict, plus 1 to public order. Confident attacker, we now get plus 3 leadership and plus 10% to our leadership aura size whenever we attack. And he's a higher level again. Level 9 already. We're moving quickly. And I mean really quickly. We can't get Tyrant yet. That is okay. Doom Bolt is rather powerful, so is Soul Stiller. Though I could always bring an Agent in if I wanted to use any of those spells. Soul Stiller is pretty cool. Direct damage. Doom Bolt is also powerful. I would like to move over here and improve his capabilities in combat just a little bit. There we are. Okay. Let's go look at any rebellions we might have in Nagarond. They're not going to happen yet. We might even be able to counter them if I get rid of my slaves again. I could use it for a right in the future when I'm allowed to. That will have to wait. But these lands are doing better. We can now research a new technology. What should we pick up right now that would really help out? We're making more money. We could get more growth. I like that idea. Exploit feeds for more public order. Even that would be good. But for now, we're going to pick up Founded on Tyranny. Start as you mean to go on. 
and your population will never know what they may be missing. If we can upgrade every location, every province quickly, then we'll have more wealth, more money. Okay. Let's go now. We can end our turn and replenish. I wouldn't mind doing that for the moment, so we'll do that. I would like to unite a new area, a new province. The Iron Mountains could belong to me if I push hard into them. What about you? The Dracula Coven. I want to find out about them. Noble boy. They're very weak. They own four locations, though. They're all around me. Okay. Dreadlord. Oh, hey, Grayev, I'm trying to get you to like me, we but again, you're not going for it. I could give you more money. We could try 2,000. It would complete a mission if we did that. My income is not very high, but we'll try 2,000 anyway. They still won't do it. All of them are wanting to fight me right now. Very well. If they want to fight me, they're going to have their battles pretty soon. We do have a great arena nearby. Okay. I wish I could get a new hero, but I can't do that just yet. A Dreadlord. Could pick up a Dreadlord to come help out. She is vicious. We could bring her in. 5 to 10 loyalty. Oh, I like that. But if I do that, my upkeep is going to go up big time. 15% is a huge amount, which means I really can't afford that yet. I would love to, but I just can't. I don't know what might be over there, but let's go find out. I feel like we won't need to replenish fully. We could combine what we have right now. There we go. Let's end our turn. We still have 19 out of 20. It's not bad. Our numbers are fine at the moment. My neighbors are moving around. I don't mind leaving that on because I need to watch what they're doing and where they're moving to. So far, they're not coming after me, which is a good thing. Another ambush discovered. Karuk Man Ripper coming to fight me. Or maybe a, a neighbor? Yeah, they're way over there. They disappeared in the Altar of Ultimate Darkness. Well, we know who that is. The people are yeah, we're about to have a huge rebellion, unfortunately. No more slaves here. We don't need that here. We do need these people to hurry and become happier, though. I could help them grow, and quickly. I'm going to have to do that. Let's go to Shroktak Mount now. Let's do a treasure hunt. We need to. While searching through the ruins of the city, almost leveled by war, you notice an unfamiliar band of scavengers picking carefully through the ruins. Potentially, this is not good, as one wrong word could see you all dead. How do you wish to proceed? You know what? We're going for it. You managed to chase off the scavengers with ease. It's unfortunate, but not a total surprise to find that they hadn't located anything of value either. Lame. Next turn, I'll have to colonize. I can't do it right now. Over here in Har Kaldra, we could build our nice walls if we want to. That's bordering other locations. But I feel like they're relatively safe. I could, again, improve our happiness or even get... A plateau of dark steeds for more riders. But for now, what we'll do, we're going to go over here and pick up slave pens for even more money. We need to improve our income in this local area. And over here to 225. I'm earning a lot of money from combat, but I always just need to earn a little bit more money after that. It's a good idea. Klar, Karan is now fighting Karan Kar. They're really not getting along, are they? Imminent Rebellion. Yeah, they're about to fight. Let's colonize right now and then go fight them. Could go fight that battle. Win the following battle with Malekith's army, Circle of Iron. Following a display of Malekith's temper, the Death Hags are suddenly more forthcoming. Malekith must indeed travel northwards to the Altar of Ultimate Darkness, the Shrine of Pure Chaos. The power residing within the Altar must be absorbed by the Circle of Iron before it can, ironically, be used against the Chaos God should not like a step inside the Vortex and take Dominion. That is what we would pick up if we go fight them. That would be a great victory for me. I'm going to need a few more soldiers to fight that battle, but that would be a great way to win. Alright, we've won. Though we are about to have a big rebellion, I would like to go rebuild another location, which would be Crag Roth Deep, which is right by me. It does have exotic animals, which could help me make more money if I ever get to engage in trade. Imminent Rebellion right by me. What about back at home? Are they finally happy? Not quite. They're not quite there yet, but we're getting close to it. They will eventually be happy. At the very least, there will not be an easy rebellion. If we do lose more slaves, it should be fine. 
My neighbor did take the great arena. That's okay. Any faction that we need to fight, we can take them out easily. A new mission issued, Trouble with Grand. Capture and occupy the following settlement, Grand. As a daughter of Grand, I know what trouble it has caused you to pass, my king. And now with more wrathy absent, they stray further from your yoke. My contacts in the city tell me they have their own plans for the scrolls we seek. Direct action is required right by me. Yeah, they're a big faction. And there's our rebellion to again train up. A black arc will be out here soon. Good to know. And there's an ambush far away from me. All right, they're now raiding. We can go get them. Let's go kill them right now. A very tiny army that we can easily beat down. Oh, I get to finish you off now. We've gained a new item, a trickster shard. I can't wait to have a new hero to help me out in combat. That will be very nice to have. We can't quite get to them, so they'll be here for one more turn, it looks like. Okay. Minus three now. We could perform a new right. Public order will go up for five turns by plus eight. That's really great, but we don't have any extra lords. It's only 100 slaves, though. You know what? Let's do that. Only because I need to get rid of a few of my slaves. I have money. I just need to make sure that we have public order. Now we have public order. And we still have a lot of slaves. I mean, look at the sheer amount we have. That isn't bad. There, you'll get your normal share. I want to fight that battle out. If we do that, it'll be a good way to gain some amazing equipment. But before we can, we've got to make sure that we're fully together, that we have all of our units fully healed up. A new mission issued. We need to attack a force belonging to a faction called the Manji, the Manji Hounds. For a moment, I thought you were a Chaos Dwarf. That's a rogue army. It is not just vermin that infest these lands. These green-skinned brutes have gone rogue. They owe no allegiance to anything. Deal with them quickly, sire, and keep an eye for other rogue armies in a campaign to come. Bright unlock. Sacrifice to Mathlan. Founded on tyranny, now complete. We're now growing even more. Let's go look at more technology that we can pick up. Let's go look at that real quick. More public order. More growth. I feel like more growth early on would be even better for me. Yeah. We can upgrade every capital location that we have so ever quickly. Oh man. There they go. Another enemy dead. Now we have bold. And we got to level up even again. Okay, we're back home. Trying to replenish. Let's go look over here. Destroyer is what I'll be getting later. And a quest. Absolute power. That gives me a larger leadership aura. Wow, that's really powerful too. I kind of want that. You know what? We'll take it. We will take that right now. I can't recruit more. I don't know how many will be in that battle if I go fight them. We could just take the gamble and go in there and fight them now. What about back at home? Nagarond is currently happy. Let's upgrade Nagarond. We have 3,000 gold to do that. We're going to build a dark elf tower. Easy enough. Now we can end our turn. I'm a veteran. Okay, that's good to know. Look at all these wars happening. I'm hoping that maybe that will keep them all weak and I won't have to worry about them trying to fight me because they'll all be fighting each other. Eventually, there will be a preeminent challenger to come after me. But for now, I think we're doing all right. Destroyer was forged by the Witch King himself as a symbol of his determination to rid the world of High Elven Ken. The touch of the Destroyers is, is especially potent against mages. It is a momentous piece of weaponsmithing, and yet it has never been blessed by the elven maker god Baal. Malekif considers it a great insult that the god is not deigned to heap praise upon him for his great work. The Witch King, while brooding about this, decides to solve his mood with an outing. Alright. We have one more that we can pick up. If we go fight now... I feel like that might be a fairly difficult one. They have reinforcements that will be coming on the way. We could try to win. Character details are over here. We have everything that we need. We're very powerful. We have spellcasting that can easily beat them. We have Dark Conduit. You know what? 
let's go do it. And I do save in case there's any issues at all, like with a crash or anything like that. It's been very stable thus far, but it's always a safe way to play it. All right, time to take on Baradin Bellfire and his many reinforcements, which I now know about. Well, he's not wrong about that. Okay, we're into battle now. We could, could try to move up immediately and fight them. That is true. Let's move up immediately and try to go fight them. We do have a cold one for Malekith. That would definitely change things up. I fought this battle on Legendary, so I do know about it. Let's go look at our cold one. Yeah, I guess we could talk a little bit more about the Lord, too, if we want to. So, as I did mention, you had a great demon invasion come back to Ulthawan. Kaldor, Dragon Tamer, instead of going out to help out Anarian, would instead bring all of his followers to the Isle of the Dead. And then he would begin a great ritual. And Anarian felt betrayed again, but he would go defend his friend, even though they weren't really seeing eye to eye anymore, or probably weren't even really friends anymore. And Anarian would fight all over, and he would kill so many demons, but unfortunately he couldn't be everywhere at once because of that. Well, he was really brought to the very edge. He was tired, he was beleaguered. But at the very end of it all, when the ritual was near its completion, what would happen is that you would have four greater demons come out, and greater demons are huge, they're terrible in power, and Anarian would go fight them. He would kill them all, but he would be gravely wounded. And then, finally, the ritual would be complete. All of the mages in the vortex would be caught, frozen in time, maintaining it. And then you would have, you know, a Narian who was mortally wounded. Him and his dying dragon would go back to the Blighted Isle and put away the Sword of Cain. And that would conclude a really great war. Despite, you know, him becoming quite cruel later on, he was still a very great king who would defend his people and save his people. As did Kalidor. Alright, we're still charging up. Come on, I want all of you to move up. Get up there. And here I am. I can just charge in and run out if I want to. They do have Chaos Knights, and those are very powerful. I don't really want to fight those, but I'm going to have to momentarily. We do have enemy reinforcements on the way. I'm a little bit worried about using my repeater bolt thrower where it's at right now. Okay. Let's go hit these knights right now. Let's go hit them right now. We're going to weaken them if we can. We do have Word of Pain, so we're going to use that immediately. We're going to use our Dark Conduit right now to get rid of some Knights, maybe. Look at that. That group of Chaos Knights, all dead. They're all gone. And look at how weak they are now. I'm letting my Archers all move away. We're going to move them right over here. No more skirmishing into guard mode. They can go. Yeah, they were eradicated completely. They're debuffed, and now they're just weak. Malekith did it all alone. I need all my archers to begin attacking. Come on. Get over here. We can quickly and easily beat them. There we go. We could even charge in, but I feel like my archers alone will be sufficient to beat them all. Look at him go. Forsaken are all dying. They still have their leader. They still have a few knights too. All of these volleys will easily beat them. Melikith will take a lot of damage, but I'm going to conserve my army. I don't want to appear weak to other factions when they come for me. Not to mention we do have other factions coming to fight me. Other reinforcements coming to fight me. Let's go after Baradin. You got him. All of you got him. Okay, Repeater Bolterer, let's move you over here. You kind of have to move. We're about to be hit on two sides, it looks like. Okay, we could debuff more of them if we want to. I don't need to. But it definitely could. One Forsaken, get out. Now they're leaving. Let's go after Baradin now. Come on, Baradin. Let's go. You and me. Okay, here comes a lot more of them. 
We're going to divide up our army just a little bit. Oh, hold on. The black guards will be there too, so it'll be okay. Let's move right over here. I'm going to move my archers in just a little while. We're going to have them come back at us, and I know that. That's okay. If you look at it, we're winning. We're beating Baradin. Despite, you know, Melikas have ta haven't taken a lot of damage. Let's go back over here, though. We can now move our forces a little bit more. We have more enemies coming to fight me, so we're going to divide up our Dark Shards a little bit. We're going to move a few of them over here. My other two Dark Shards will move over here to attack. My Shades, I'm going to have them move over to a flank. My Bolt Thrower, I'm hoping will not hit my allies. I really hope not. We're about to find out, though. Wait, hold on. Dark Shards move a little bit. There we go. Here they come again. Is it going over their heads? I believe it is. Okay, good. Again, I was very worried about that. They do have aspiring champions. I'm going to let you go into skirmish mode. Are they using spell casting? A little bit. Just a little bit. I do have dark conduit, which I can use again. Hold on, I want all of you to kind of move back a little bit. Okay, we're about to flank them. Needs a lot of spell casting, so here's what we'll do. We're gonna just try to move up a little bit. They have more knights on the way. That's okay. Let's move more archers over here. More dark shards. Well, not archers, but you know, crossbows. And here comes a bunch of chaos spawn. It's only forsaken. I'm gonna debuff them right now, though. I feel like they're way too strong. I don't want to deal with them. Okay, I do have a blade win, which again is very powerful. Let's go over here. You two shades can move over here and do a lot of damage. I'm gonna let you go do that. We have dark shards everywhere. Let's go charge in if we can. We have kind of a weird formation. I'm not a huge fan of it. Okay. We're going to break up their formation. I would use my blade wind, but I'm worried about friendly fire. I don't want any friendly fire if I can help it. If they begin to flee, we can begin to hit more of them. Let's go hit more of them right now. I'm killing the aspiring champions and quickly. Malakas is still winning. I could use his ability right now to knock them all back, but I don't know if that friendly fire would be too much. We're destroying the Chaos Spawns, which is great. Let's come over here now. Is the other army on the way? Doesn't look like it. I'm going to leave one group of Dread Spears over here to help out. Let's begin to go after either their leaders, but it's kind of... Yeah, we'll go after their leaders, I suppose. I suppose we have to, in a way. Thank you, Malekith. You beat them. Look at that. We're beginning to break them. The Shades are great. They're very mobile, and they do so much damage. Let's move over here. Actually, focus on those champions, if you can help it. Get them right now. I want them dead. So here's the battle as it is so far. We have fought hard, we have fought long, and now we're winning. We're beating them all, we're pushing them all back. Let's go over here and push back more Chaos Warriors. That's how mighty we are. And all my Dread Shards are destroying them. Thank you, Black Guard of Nagaron. And as they flee, we'll kill more of them. We've won the battle. What a great beginning to our campaign. They're all shattered now, we've won. They're dead and shattered. Now they're only fleeing. We didn't take a lot of damage. I mean, we were hit on multiple sides and we were still able to beat them and easily too. Okay, let's end our fight. I lost only 310. If you look at my kills right now. I mean, they're pretty balanced out. My shades got a majority of the kills. At least one of them did, 117. My dark shard did a lot of damage. Able to rip right into their formations. I mean, Forsaken are not going to do well against that many missile soldiers. And again, we could go after more slaves and replenish, but we're going to go for murder captives now. We'll gain more experience for our army. Now we have our new circlet, or our old circlet. Look at them all move back. What, do I still need to fight them? <laughs> if I do, okay, I will. Had I known that, I would have chased them. Okay, good, they're gone. A diplomatic envoy. Look at that. Plus 10 relations with all factions. Hey, I'll take it. Mission completed. Okay, we've gained a new arcane item. The circlet of iron, said to be older than the elven race, is a potent source of arcane power. If you look at it, we get even more magic, more armor. Power of darkness is now better. Untainted plus 5. And we get a passive ability called circlet of iron, which will impact other spellcasters. Great. So now we can move where? A cold one chariot already. That was quick. War leader would also be good. Upkeep would go down by 10%. I'm going to take that for now. We leveled up again, too. 
Look at all these unique abilities. If I get one of them, okay, good. They're not locked away. I was wondering if they would be locked away. That's more income when I loot or sack over here. Triumph of Evil. My Lord Recruit rank would go up by 2. Replenishment up by 15%. I really feel like I need that. Post Battle Loot will go up by 50%. Wow. Okay. His abilities are incredibly powerful. I think we're good to go now. Look at my upkeep. It's very low. I could recruit whatever I want. Well, that is fantastic. Okay. You know, I think that will do for now. I think we've gotten a lot done. If you look at what we've gained, we have united one province. We're beginning to unite another. We fought one quest battle. And I'm feeling pretty good about our campaign so far. If you have enjoyed my campaign so far, leave a like and comment down below if you would like to watch each and every part. Well, check out my playlist down below too. And look forward to more Warhammer 2 content on my channel. And as always, until then.